What is going on guys? Welcome back to the third and final game of my set versus AJ, 000 AJ, big memer, um, currently memeing me with Shedinja. So the set is tied at 1-1. If you haven't watched games one and game two, please go watch them. They're pretty cool. Um, pretty interesting because you don't see Shedinja a lot in competitive play, but he's doing a very good, very, like a very good job at managing it. So um, last game, for, so game one did not go very well. He brought Groudon Executor, turn one, he thunder waved into, um, he thunder waved into Shedinja, which meant I couldn't burn it, um, which is bad. Game two, he went Smeargle Xerneas with Scarf Smeargle as expected from AJ, um, and went a little bit better. Now we're into game three, and I'm a little bit torn on what is ideal, like what I should do, because... So my original plan for game three was to go Hitmontop Rayquaza, because it covers, like, the... Um, I think I need Gengar, actually. Uh, I was going to go Hitmontop Rayquaza, because it covers the um, Executor Groudon lead so well. But now I'm a little bit less sure, because... Um, <laughs> Because the Scarf Smeargle really messes things up. That's kind of like the, the short version of it. So, um... I feel like I want Gengar. I also kind of want Bronzong for the Xerneas. Uh, I was able to beat the Xerneas last time using only Gengar and Hitmontop uh, with a little bit of help from Rayquaza. I really do like Rayquaza up front, but, who, like, who to pair him with, you know? Because the, the, the thing is that Scarf Smeargle's a huge pain because... Um, oh, and also letting Rayquaza go down to his Focus Sash means that I, I like, pretty much will be screwed. So I, I think I actually like Rayquaza up front here. And I think I need Top or Raichu to cover for the Sting, the, the uh, Shedinja. Um, but the question is who to bring it back. I definitely need Kyogre, and then I need to choose between Gengar and Bronzong. The thing, I, like, I would never ever do this versus a normal team. I would never bring Rayquaza, Top, Kyogre, anything. Except, like, unless it was Raichu, but... Bronzong is better versus Xerneas, and Gengar is better versus Shedinja. And that's kind of where we are right now. Um, I think I'm going to go Gengar. This is going to be really, really, really volatile, um, unfortunately. And it's just so difficult to manage all the pieces like he has so much going on on this team like the scarf smear all the shedinja the thunder wave like there's so much that he can just disrupt with and it's really really difficult to manage maybe raichu would have been better no i don't think raichu is better um he's gonna go ahead and lead i think this is grout on executor so that was kind of what i was hoping to see uh with rayquaza's airlock activating it means that we're off to not a strong start but um it means that like his his um His Chlorophyll is not going to be active because I have Airlock on the field. So, if there was a way that I could start this off, like, correctly with this lead, I feel like this is the way to do it. Um, there's all, there's, like, there's a couple of, like, kind of problematic factors at the moment, though, which I think we'll run into very soon. So, I need to make this, I don't need to make this turn one correctly. I have a pretty safe Fake Out into Groudon and Dragon Ascent into Executor. But the problem with that is that if he protects, turn two is about to get very, very messy. Um, unfortunately, though, I don't think I have a much better option because... Despite the fact that I could make a a, um, a read here, allowing Executor to allowing Executor to like sleep powder me or hidden power ice me would mean I think the instant loss of the game. So I'm gonna have to, even though it's very obvious and um, he can very easily cover for it, I'm going to Dragon Ascent into Executor and fake out into Groudon. For Groudon, we've seen every move except for the fourth. We've seen Thunder Wave, we've seen Eruption, we've seen Protect. And Executor, we only saw Protect. Um, so I'm just going to do that. And AJ's still considering. So, oh, I'm I'm actually pretty nervous here. This this is just such such a volatile matchup. I think we can expect Shedinja in back and either Smeargle or... Um, interesting. Oh, I might have lost. No, I didn't. Not yet. Um, oh, Kangaskhan would be interesting. Yeah, that's Kangaskhan. So good move on AJ. Uh, maybe, like, definitely Swords Dance would have been better here. Um, maybe not. So I fake out into Kangaskhan. I assumed that Shinja had the Focus Sash. I might have been wrong there. So, Koba Berry. Did not expect that. That's very bad. Koba. Well, this could go very badly. Crit! That's so bad. I might have just lost. That's really, really bad. Um. Oh, God. Sleep Powder connects. That's awful. That's really bad. That's really, really, really bad. Um. Oh, no. Oh no, okay.
Cobra Executor. Didn't cover for that. This could go really badly. I think I might have just botched this one really bad. Um, I need this to be a normal attack into Gengar and a Leaf Storm into him on top, or like a Sleep Powder or something. Um, otherwise, I'm in huge trouble. So he goes for a Power Up Punch. Oh no, oh no, into top. <sighs> That's really bad. Pop. Into top. Um, and I'm out, but for what? The question is, does he attack into Rayquaza, or um, does he Sleep Powder into top? I think he Sleep Powders into top. I think he actually Psychics into Rayquaza, and then I just lose right away. So um, let's hope this is Sleep Powder into, into um, Rayquaza. Psychic into... That's it. That's it. I just got blown back. That's really bad. So I think there is a very, 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 very narrow way for me to win this, but I don't think it's likely. Um, at all. Yeah, I don't think there's really... Dang, oh. I didn't, I just got wrecked by Koba Executor. That's super unfortunate. Um, because the problem is that even with zero turns of sleep on my... On my Rayquaza, like... I don't know. It's not looking good. Um, I think this is my best move at this point. He could just switch Executor into Groudon and make the read. I think that would like that, that would honestly be a good move. But um, yeah, this is really bad. Sleep Powder. That was like that last move was really bad. He played like he had. It was a totally safe move on his part, and I don't know. I could have done better, but yeah, uh, he called, he gets that call as well. Goes into Groudon almost definitely, and yeah, that's it. Um, I guess he could double edge into Rayquaza. I think he could double edges into Kyogre, though. I think that's better. Um, so he double edges into Hitmontop. So gonna do a lot of damage. Picks up the KO there, and it's it's looking really bad, guys. I'm sorry. I don't really see a way out of this one unless somehow Mega Requa no Mega Requaza can't take plus one double edge. So it's like I don't know. There's nothing really to be done. Um, yeah. So this just went super badly. That's really upsetting. This is the end of my Nuggetbridge Invitational run. Round one knocked out by Shedinja Executor. Executor being one of my favorite Pokemon. So that's really upsetting. Um, it's super unfortunate. That's kind of what I get for not changing teams and also for playing badly. To be fair, AJ played very well. He managed his, like, his odds very well and his information very well. So um, like definitely a great job to AJ. Uh, he, like I hope he... Well, I don't know. Uh, I hope he feels good about this one because... There wasn't, like, he just played better, you know? Um, he just, he, he had better uh, information management. He knew all of the information about my team, and I didn't know anything about his. It was, like, I honestly considered switching to something right before the match, like, uh, in terms of, like, to cover for the, the Shedinja, but, like, I didn't, and this is kind of what I get. I'm actually, traditionally, like, I'm not very good in online tournaments where you can change teams. Like, especially in seasons like this where I have, like, a known team, because counter-teaming is just, like, super popular and stuff, so. Um, yeah, unless AJ does something crazy here, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Like, he's... He, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he's celebrating. Maybe that's why he's taking forever. Um, unfortunately, because Rayquaza hasn't taken a turn of sleep. That's kind of the big thing here. So, uh, plus one Kangaskhan. Losing Gengar was really bad. That was, that was like, the really bad move. And that was... Yeah, that'll, that'll 100% do it. Because I'm Mega Evolving this turn, eliminating the Sun. Meaning that when Groudon comes back in, um, it's going to have a safe, Sun-free world. But even if that's only, like, if... I don't know. There's... I don't know. There's no way. <laughs> like, if Rayquaza made it through the turn... Um, yes. And the thing is, because I shouldn't just focus sash, that this game is, like, mega, mega, mega over, because, um, because he could just, like, without Rayquaza's focus sash, he can just Shadow Claw. So that's going to come out into Rayquaza, good move, like, yeah, that was the correct target. Uh, survived the first attack, but unfortunately not going to survive the second attack. So I am out of the Nugget Bridge Invitational. Round one, game 
game three, I guess. I don't know. Um, definitely really disappointed with myself and my performance. This was pretty pathetic, if I do say so myself. Um, yeah, definitely did not not super satisfied with my performance here. Um, I get like two games, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Um, just poor play overall. Super poor play. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I guess fake out swords dance would have been a better turn one. And to, I guess I like I had to call that executor at Koba. I should have known executor at Koba honestly. Like nothing else made sense. So there's Groudon, um, and this is almost definitely Shedinja. Smeargle. Oh, that's super unfortunate. If I had played this better, I definitely could have. I actually might have had a chance, um, but I didn't, so I don't. Uh, and so I would assume this is just Dark Void, right? Let's go ahead and see what he does. Because if, for example, he went for Dark Void and he missed. And then his last move. But I think Transform makes more sense. Um, and then he can just erupt, erupt, erupt. But let's just... Or maybe he misclicks Fake Out, you know? Um, yeah. But I think this is almost... Unless he doesn't have Transform. Maybe he has Soak. So he can go... Oh my god, if he has Soak, he can Soak his Groudon. And then I'll never be able to KO it with Ice Beam. That'd be really funny. I hope he does that. Um, yeah. But he would lose Stab, though. But I think still, like, non... Like, I don't know. I think... <laughs> Earth power out damages, um, out damages Ice Beam, if I'm not, whatever. So I'm going to go for Protect here. Um, he's going to go for a Transform into, boop, Groudon. Uh, so now it's double Groudons there, and he can just go for Eruption. So going to do a lot of damage there. Uh, I think I'll go ahead and Ice Beam. Ice Beam that. It doesn't matter. Earth power. So now we have the last move. So Earth power comes out. Smart and his part. Um... Yeah. 137, going to do way too much damage. Uh, and I can't take two more Earth Powers. So, um, the only way I win this one, and I'm going to go for it. No, actually, there's no way. I need to crit here. Doesn't I don't get it. Um, and then, okay, so uh, I think when Smeargle transforms, it only gets 5 PP on everything. So, I'm going to go for Quadruple Protect. So, we've got one Protect down. Here's number two. Um, and so, if we get five Protects and crit, I think we still died to Earth Power plus Struggle, so it doesn't really matter. Um, he goes for double Earth Powers, so that's one. We just need three more. Uh, obviously, like it just like it doesn't. I don't know. I'm just gonna do it just in case, you know. But it fails, so that's it. So good game to AJ. Uh, well played to him. Um, definitely like very disappointed in myself with my play. Um, it, oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Earth Power KOs at that range, so um, yeah. Did like great game to AJ. Uh, very like really really well played. Really well managed uh, with the information. Um, yeah, can't, don't really have much to say there. Like, just uh, unfortunate for me to be knocked out, but, you know, I don't really feel like I deserve to win that one with the way I managed information and took risks and stuff. So um, that's just a good lesson that you can't win them all, and we didn't win this one. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the more serious content. Um, I encourage you to follow the Nugget Bridge Infidational online. If you're interested, a bunch of my friends are still in at the moment. I believe Marcus is still in at the time of recording, uh, as well as several other good friends like from the Spirits and stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed this. Um, obviously, it's, it's cool to play seriously. Uh, not so fun when it's not like a, when it's like an online tournament where you can get like... Where it doesn't matter. I'm not making excuses. It was a, it was a good set. Um, Yes, it was definitely difficult, and AJ played well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, and I will see you next time.